What's up, everybody? Time for another Game Theory video. Remember, if you like the videos, like, some silly comment. Share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. I'm a little bit more tired than usual today. It's, uh, I've been sick and I was in the hospital earlier today. Motherfuckers have no idea how lucky they are. But, man, this is a big one. We're answering some CVS2 questions. This is a big one. But before we get to this, let's answer some of this other shit that's going to come up. Um, I saw some people... Talking about, oh, you don't know if Clayton actually found the final, the Kim Infinite. Dude, you can look at old tutorials. Like, this is it's crazy to me. The lies that people make up about me. The assumptions that they say. They don't hold up to any scrutiny. 17 years ago, and this is back, you know, these are, YouTube only came out 17 years ago, right? And people are uploading old videos. L listen to this. Who do you think is actually getting credit for all the Kim Infinite stuff and all these old videos? Who do you, who do you think they mentioned? Huge thanks to Final Showdown. Who the fuck do you think is Final Showdown? I've said this before. I'm not the person that came up with the idea for the Kim Infinite. I'm the person that made the Kim Infinite work, though. And so some people gave me credit for it, okay? Just like if you look at something like this right here. Excuse me, sorry. So many windows open. Oh, wait, never mind. You did the Kim Infinite before everyone, too, and see this, too. How about that? Just thanks. And I'm always like, actually, I can't take credit for the Kim Infinite. A Japanese guy, the Cyrek guys, which is actually a team. And then even they might have been using TAS, I guess, now that I found out when I got older. So it's actually it's kind of even less impressive when I think of all the stuff that I've done in games. But whatever the case, can you imagine anyone else in the history of fighting games in this fucking clout-chasing world that we live in nowadays where people will lie about other people to take credit for stuff. And instead of doing that, I will be like, no, don't give me credit for something that's not true. If you want to give me credit that I'm the first person to do it in a real match, I'm the first person to actually like figure it out how to do it, that's fine. And I've said before, I think it's actually pretty incredible that, you know, I did that as a kid. That's that's pretty amazing. But I think the idea is still important. And some people can't appreciate that. I can appreciate they had the idea. And then I was like, how would I do this? And I'm like, oh, if I do a negative edge, I can do it. And then I post, I'm like, oh, I can do it. And then I wrote a combo. Then the Japanese guys gave me credit for it in a video. But the idea is actually not mine. But again, you'll see these comments. Oh, yeah, there's nothing that ever seems to say that Clayton did that. Like, give me a fucking break, dude. Ridiculous. Where are we? Before we get to this, Jesus Christ, this is going to take a while. Give me a few minutes. You might want to skip over. I still don't know what fucking, fucking crack prawns thing is. He, he seemingly <laughs> is okay with, you know, saying good things about me, but he's also very okay with lying about me constantly. I, I don't get it. I feel like there must be something like maybe he feels guilty that he's lied about me or something like that. I don't know, right? But um, where is this? Uh, people just complaining they haven't really seen the videos without actually watching it. Um, where is this? Where is, where is this one thing? And that's why I don't fuck with him. I love his free willing usage of the word retarded. And that's why I don't fucks with him anymore. He never grew out of the 90s. Okay, first of all, I thought he had changed his story just a little bit ago to apparently I hate transgender people again. And then I made that video, you can easily see none of that is true, and it was all made up. So now I guess he's changed his story to, well, he, he says the word retarded. Yes, you are fucking retarded. You also, you say that I live in the 90s, despite the fact that I still am doing more stuff in fucking video games than anybody else in the history of fucking video games. I still did stuff that no one did in Street Fighter Six. I predicted the game, Strive, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and even when I fucking play these old games even when i play these old games i just did stuff in marvel that no one had ever even done before and people tried to say that i cheated to do it and it wasn't even real you're you say i'm living in the 90s you guys are living in a fucking fantasy world that doesn't even exist a delusional world now you hate me because i said the, the word retarded and i like where, where's this one guy before we get to whatever see oh did, did he actually find out the japan the kim infinite M motherfucker we, we already talked about okay you can look it up okay crazy and then that one guy clayton has also been a certified weirdo and has been ostracized from the gg community for a fat fucking minute 
Guy posted about Brit's trans dick a lot. A lot. I posted. Uh, uh, <laughs> I posted that I don't like the retcon, the changing of Bridget's story, and so that means I hate transgender. Apparently, I also said I don't like Ryu's retcon. Like the again, these people don't even live in fucking reality. It's crazy to me. Okay, just and we also we already know why I was banned from the GG community because we showed it. They were mad that I beat them. The, the funny thing is that fucking idiot Hono guy who was trying to say that you can go back and look at his old post and he changed he's changed his whole story, right? Motherfuckers are mad that I beat them in the game and they tried to pretend that I didn't win all these tournaments and they tried to hide it and then he tried to make up that fucking weird thing that I was actually banned from dust loop from hitting transgender people. But if you actually look it up, they banned me because they couldn't do my tech and even his own friend spirit juice admitted that everything was lied about me that none of it happened and yet i'm still banned funny but you can see how obsessed he is with me where where is this oh, oh my god the bass thing do you guys want to hear me speak japanese do you want to hear me uh, speak shit the bass in japanese no you'll, you'll have to forgive me because my japanese is not that good the funny thing is too i actually have pictures with bass but maybe i'll put a pictures in another video because this video is going to be too long and I'm sure people want me to actually get to the meat and bones of this video you know but I guess maybe people don't remember because I didn't look like I do now back when I was going to tournaments dying and all this kind of shit <laughs> okay you don't have to forgive me I'm trying to think how do, how do I talk shit in Japanese I'm trying to think uh, what should I say to Bass Dogo Mizuni Kono yona Deta Ramen no koto iagatte英語は理解できないなら、それくらいできないなら、喋んなよ。自分で何言ってんだか全然わかってねえじゃねえかよ。動画を見ないなら、それくらいできないなら、黙ってろ。俺病気じゃなかったら、せめえもう老人本に連れ
one of the reasons that RC sucks is because it makes it so you can no longer check moves the way that you're supposed to. And it makes moves that have certain purposes invalid. They don't have a purpose, right? And especially in a game like CVS2, when you think of there's actually, from a traditional Street Fighter 2 perspective, of say a Blanca ball that's actually, you know, fast, but if you block it, you can punish it with a character like Ryu. In a game like CVS2, you're actually encouraged to check the opponent more because you actually can't block these moves even if you, or you can't punish these moves even if you block them. So RC makes it so you can now poke with special moves and they are completely invincible. It's like the irresistible force against the immovable object. What is that wrestling term they used before some so long ago? Right? You can't check these moves anymore. You're both invincible. There's nothing to check. So if you're using the argument, well, you can't check uh, Sharukan, Sharukan, a DP either, well, I would ask you how lenient are we being with the word? Because unless you are only talking about Ryu and Ken, dragon punches that are totally invincible, this is not true whatsoever. I've made many videos talking about the chaos, the balance and the chaos of old school games. Guess what? A move that is supposedly broken, like Guy's Hurricane Kick in Alpha 1, guess what? You can check that move with a lot of attacks because the move is actually not totally invincible. Even if we go to a game like Super Turbo, where you think about how strong Fireball Dragon Punch traps are, guess what? Imagine you knock down Sagat and he has no life left. What is the optimal way to kill him if you cannot walk close enough to DP him? You might think it's to throw a Fireball. But if Sagat does a dragon punch, right, he is invincible enough to go through a fireball. But because Sagat's dragon punch is not actually invincible at his feet in certain places on his body, the actual optimal thing that you do there in a game like Super Turbo with Ryu is you sweep him. Because you can check Sagat's dragon punch with high priority normals with many characters. And so then the sweep either beats his reversal dragon punch or he blocks it and you fireball and you kill him anyway. So this idea that you can't check a oh, you can, oh, you can. <laughs> not exactly true unless you're talking about uh, uh, an actual totally invincible dragon punch. And even then I would say, well, this is sort of a disingenuous argument because a dragon punch is generally speaking, you know, Ken goes a little bit more horizontally is a vertical move you're not checking it in neutral in this in the first place so this is a is this a straw man argument which you might use in you know uh english again my english is bad right so this argument doesn't make any sense and dragon punches if you block them you punish them when you are poking with a rc in cvs2 with a lot of these attacks you can't punish them you can't check them. You can't punish them. Now, we're going to get a look at this, right? Since you can still throw all RCs on their startup of the roll frames, right, at any point in the roll window. Now, this is funny. This is especially funny for this guy. And like I said, there's a, there's a lot to this. You can read the whole conversation if you want yourself. I find this funny because, again, I read, all your, I read your comments, right? Even in a recent video, you said, what is the worst thing about fighting games? And you said it's the fact that you can throw a opponent on wake up. And when I read your messages here, you put the quarter in your own ass and you played yourself because you're talking about how much you love RC. But then you say, well, you can beat RC because you can throw it on wake up. Yet I have read many of your posts where you say that is the number one thing you hate about fighting games. You played yourself, dude. Come on. I appreciate you watching my channel, but you 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 played yourself so many times in these arguments, right? The the one thing I will give you that is a objective thing and not subjective is yes, RCs do add a layer of dexterity and you know executional. Um, God, I can't think of now. I can't think since I was just trying to think in Japanese again recently. Now I can't think of English. I can't think of all these different languages at once. An execution requirement. There is a there is a dexterity and execution requirement to play CVS2 at, let's say, a higher level than maybe a different game, right? And even if I were to try to do it now, don't ask me to RC. I'm not I didn't RC when I played, let alone doing it after I've had surgery on my hands and, you know, 
my body has been decaying. Like I said, I was just in the fucking doing doctor shit again this morning, sick all night, back to the hospital this morning, right? So that is objective I will give you. You know, CVS2 does have a dexterity that is not necessarily in other games, right? But anyway, look at some of this stuff. There is a, where, oh God, let's be honest here. RCs are, so this is, this is why you can tell you're being subjective. Let's be honest here. RCs are not only fun to use. See, you're giving subjective arguments here. What is fun is not fun for everybody, right? This is why I don't get, I don't like talk about subjective stuff in my videos because I'm trying to have a true intelligent conversation, right? Do you see when I talk about a game like Karno's Revenge? Some people say, oh, he loves Karno's Revenge. I don't, I don't love Karno's Revenge. I'm just saying I appreciate certain things about the game. Alpha 1, I'm not saying that Alpha 1 is the greatest game ever, right? I can just appreciate the game for what it is. And when I make these videos, I try to look at these games objectively. You already were just only a few sentences in. You're telling me this is more fun. Fun is subjective. We're, this is not objective. This is not an objective argument, right? Let's not pretend RCs don't add more depth than they supposedly take away. I don't think that's provable whatsoever. Why should Ryu be allowed to do a fireball from full screen and be safe? Why shouldn't he be? Also, let's say, who says he's safe in the first place? <laughs> who says he's safe in the first place? There's super jumps. Maybe you did a really bad fireball from most full screen away and the guy just super jumps. I mean, you're these, I mean, listen, I can tell you care because you write really long things, but it's a lot of nothing of what you're writing, right? You know, we just showed like, wow, wow, now Reeves Rush Fierce, what is, what is the purpose of this move? I guess it kind of beats Pokes still, but it really doesn't check you as well. The move is already a little bit iffy as it is. Now I can't check Pokes and I have to worry about these Pokes that are invincible, you know, not punishable. They just pretend that Wake Up RC is unbeatable. But the flaw with it is the startup roll frames are always throwable, which again makes no sense. I read all your comments on my channel. You constantly look at all my videos. You wrote, it's the worst thing in fighting games when you can throw somebody on Wake Up. Are you playing devil's advocate here? <laughs> like, what are you doing? A necessary evil? Right? This made you be able to read. Again, this is just a whole bunch of nothing dude and look at this cvs2 plays like the best traditional 2d fighter there is Ugh. certainly no game since cvs2 has played better than it in a traditional 2d game sense and it's hard to bring in that super turbo with its 9-1 matchups super turbo and its 9-1 matchups what we've already fucking talked about you can go to Super Turbo, these 9-1 matchups, guess what? You still see the worst characters in the game win terrible matchups. What are you fucking talking about? This, this is, you, you are living in a fantasy world talking about Super Turbo right now. Super Turbo is incredibly competitive now, even all these years later. CVS2 is a niche game. I, you know, I hate to break that to you. You like it, and that's cool. I'm not telling you you can't like the game, but your arguments are terrible. Awful implementation of supers. This is, this is crazy because guess what? In Super Turbo, you can pick super characters that can't even use supers, and they're still competitive. What the fuck are you talking about? Every character is competitive in Super Turbo. Even the supposedly worst characters in the game. You can watch tournaments and they still fucking win. It's actually incredible when you think about it. Could hold a light to CVS2 objectively. You've given no, the only objective thing you've said, and, and I've read all this, is that there's a dexterity requirement for roll canceling, which I think anyone would agree with. You just talk about Eno again, one evil without RCs. You know, it's funny. I was just talking about the bass thing. I'm pretty sure I have pictures with Eno. And do we need to tell this story about CVS2 again? And I know it makes people mad. This isn't me saying that I'm awesome at CVS2 or anything like that. But, dude, it's a fact, dude. I won tournaments in CVS2 without RCs, okay? I never RC'd. Not saying I'm amazing at the game or anything like that. As a kid. And remember, in CVS2... I was already at the point where I, I would play at an arcade stick when I was at the, the a tournament. But at home, I was on a Dreamcast controller trying to find different things to play on that I was 
able to play on, right? Of course, you know, granted, CVS 2, my hands were actually not that far gone at that point, but it is a fact that is what was going on, right? Not Nothing like, you know, once I, you know, by the time I quit tournaments, you know, I could barely even hold a controller anymore, but my hands certainly were not to that extent, but it's still, it's true. I said before, I know Eno, okay? Because there's that one Evo, and it's a, it's a story I've told many times before, and I even talked to Watson about it recently. And remember, there's that Evo I went to as a kid, and I was beating everybody in casual. Guy, Watson, Eno, all these Japanese guys. And I was like, whoa, I'm going to do really good. Holy shit. Like, I was so excited to even be able to play these people that I'd heard about. And this is before, you know, everyone had a fucking cell phone. And... I left the arcade. I don't even remember who I lost to. I'm gonna just, I don't remember what the win streak was. But I left and they had computers there. And so, you know, I went online being insecure. I wonder what's going on. And there was threads about, oh, final showdown. I can't wait for that scrub to lose. He was talking so much shit. He beat Watson. He beat the Japanese. Blah, 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 blah. And I was a, I'm like a kid. I'm like, what the fuck? You think I was going around talking shit? I just le literally left the arcade. And I saw how fucking evil the community, like I said, it was, I saw how evil and corrupt the community was that they would lie about a kid. And it put me in such a bad mood. And I even talked to Watson about it recently. And I was like, I hope you don't think I ever talk shit about you. You know, because I remember I felt so bad as a kid that I was reading about guys like Watson and everything like that. And for people to say that I was a shit talker and talking about these shit, these guys that I had looked up to as a kid. And he even told me, he was like, I know Temjin talk shit and he was trying to start stuff so don't worry about it and so i'm there you know me and watson caught up recently we caught we talked about recently he's in i don't talk to james chen anymore he's like i don't know why he would say that about you i don't talk to crack prawn he's like i don't know why he would say that about you either he's like i don't even fuck with them anymore basically but anyway point is and then of course after that then uh just to finish the story about temi Jen, i went to that uh big canadian you know national tournament whatever the fuck it was and the best in Canada at the time were JFL and Prez and JFL had beaten Arturo. And so he had a lot of cred, you know, cause Arturo and East coast of America. And then I beat uh, JFL and the arcade went crazy. And the Temu Temujin guy, he went up to me. He was like, he gave me kind of a fake apology. He's like, you know what? Final showdown. I will never say you're a scrub again after that. He's like, no scrub could ever beat JFL, come to Canada and beat JFL like that. No. It was anticlimactic because then Prez beat me. So it's an anticlimactic story. <laughs> but still, you know what I mean? <laughs> I got to take what I can get in the FTC. Um, but I never RC'd. And this isn't me saying that I'm better than any of these people. Listen, you're talking about Eno K Groove, all, all these things. He proved that they're not needed and they are hindrance. Does anyone in their fucking right mind think that RCs are a hindrance? I'm sure if Eno could pick K-Groove and do RCs as well, he would probably do an RC special move as well. This is just absolute non not nonsense, right? The game offers a lot more traditional depth than, depth than other traditional 2D fighters allow. Just absolute. This is a, like... There's more than just your your special is now invincible. To, to be honest, and like an, another guy called him out here too, whoever this guy is, that this is it, because it is retarded, right? I want you to look at this, right? Just because there is. And if Sakura is spamming at RC Tatsu, bro, just roll and punish or JD and punish. Okay. How many times do I talk about what is one of the worst things in a, a fighting game? One of the worst things in a fighting game is, is when the best thing to do is a homogenized thing that is not special. You proved my point, motherfucker. I appreciate you watching my videos, but you sound really stupid. Nothing you've said besides RC's uh, take dex dexterity is any is even remotely objective here. So you're telling me, and this guy, Beast of Bones, whoever he is, is you know, you can't check in CVS two anymore. Special moves just are invincible. Special moves that have no business being, you know, invincible, right? You should not be poking with a totally safe move that is invincible. It just destroys so much neutral and everything in fucking CVS2, right? I know there's K-Groove, right? I, I understand. I understand people have done very well with K-Groove. I'm not oblivious to this fact, right? But you've said some really fucking stupid shit. Oh, see, Super Turbo trying to apply that a bad character never wins a bad matchup. Ah, what game are you watching? <laughs> like, seriously. 
every character gets played in Super Turbo still. It's it's incredible, right? You know, and you, you've proved, they're like, oh, well, you know, just because if everyone's invincible, one of the ways to beat that invincibility on Wake Up is you throw it. You, you've commented probably, I'm going to say, let's say 10 times on my channel with a big Bible entry, how throwing a guy on the Wake Up is one of the worst inventions ever in fighting games. You just posted it on my fucking channel. And now you're telling me that's one of the great things about CVS 2? What? Now you're telling me, oh, well, you know, you can't check, but guess what? You can roll if they're trying to RC. Jesus, dude. Like I've said before, one of the worst things that happens in a fighting game is when the best option becomes a homogenized option. Yeah, you can roll if they try to RC to punish them, but guess what? Every character can fucking roll. That's not special. You've proven my point. Oh, we can all make our moves invincible. So we can't check each other anymore. Oh, well, yeah, but then, you know, you can just use your role because everyone has a role. Yes, we're all doing the same fucking goddamn thing. Oh, but you can JD. Everyone can JD. What are we talking about? Yes, I know you can. That's retarded. When the biggest, when a game, the main topic of the game, the narrative of a game, you can boil down to as a homogenized mechanic there is often a pretty big backlash to it, to, to it, a pretty big problem. I'm not saying CVS 2 is the worst game ever made. Okay, you can enjoy it, but to, to act like CVS 2 is some amazing game, absolute fucking nonsense. Again, I can't even objectively tell you it's better than CVS 1. You haven't wrote in anything here that even proves that. I mean, to be honest, I, I think you've made yourself look pretty stupid, which I feel sad because I do appreciate you you know, commenting on my channel, but now you look completely hypocritical concerning how many times you, you've said that you should not be able to throw a guy and wake up, and now you are advocating in it while defending CBS2 with this illogical nonsense, right? Just, you, you know, and CV, and roll canceling did, did not really change. There, there was no big flip of the meta in CBS2 because CBS2 was a game that was figured out very early on, Okay. Roll canceling was in the narrative of the game so early. So, so fucking early. Okay. Excuse me. And guess what? Didn't change the narrative of the game too much. If we just focused on something else. Didn't change the tiers, I should say. That gen the generally the good characters are still good characters. The bad characters are still bad characters. Okay, Dr. B, he's done well for himself in S-Group. Guess what? He's an outlier. Do you do you think that that somehow takes away the fact that if everyone could RC 100%, why well, you would just always RC. You're basically hoping that the care, the other opponent is not executionally 100%. And I think that's actually, that actually shows a sad thing for a game too, when we're almost arguing that, well, you know, you can pick S group because, you know, there's going to be times that, you know, not everyone is 100% for RCs. And it's like, Okay, yeah, nobody's perfect, yeah, but, you know, it's kind of sad to think about, is this is this the level of the argument now that, you know, it's hard to play the game optimally or something? I mean, it, it doesn't change the fact that even, even if the game is hard to play 100% optimally, it's still the narrative of the game. Just absolute nonsense, dude. Again, just... You, it, like, I, I, I don't know. This video is so long, and you, you, I'm sorry, dude, but you sounded really stupid. And you, every you just you wasted a lot of time writing that, and I think you made yourself look really bad because you you taught you said a bunch of subjective things that are not objective. Besides the dexterity argument, which is okay, right? which uh, uh, to to end on a execution standpoint of uh, CVS two because it was brought up. Uh, Somewhere I saw is the Kyosuke Infinite Task. I would be surprised if, um, I would be curious if people can do the Kyosuke Infinite now. Because again, when CVS 2 came out, certainly, you know, this was when anime games started becoming a little bit more popular. And a lot of anime games had a harder execution and everything like that. So even, you know, I would be curious if there's like a lap, because I don't consider myself to have good execution, right? I would be curious if in today's day and age with how many people have practiced, if someone was actually practicing Kyosuke for all these years, if you could do the Kyosuke Infinite. You know, so that's kind of interesting to me. 
But, you know, you also made some comments. CBS 2 is the game with the hardest combos, harder than Marvel and all this kind of shit. And it's like, oh, come on, dude. I can tell you like the game, but the stuff you're saying just sounds absolutely fucking insane. Anyway, this was a long video. Remember, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. The end.